So in terms of thrust, right now, I believe this is generating, again, one Earth gravity, but that comes out to being, I believe, millinewtons or micronewtons in terms of overall thrust. What do you think the upper limit is for this? And, and again, I, I believe Drew had mentioned he hopes to be able to generate one kilogram of thrust in the future. Um, do you think that it could generate that in the next year or so? And do you think that it can go beyond that? Right now, we don't have an upper limit, at least in terms of the physics of what the force could be. Um, since we don't quite understand the microscopic uh, foundations of it, we don't know what the upper limit would be. Propellantless propulsion is an emerging technology that could revolutionize space travel by providing thrust without the need for traditional propellant. This video explores the fundamental concepts, materials, design principles, and scientific breakthroughs that underpin this technology. Fundamental concepts and theoretical foundations Propellantless propulsion relies on the generation of thrust without expelling mass. Traditional rocket engines eject propellant to create thrust, adhering to Newton's third law of motion. In contrast, propellantless systems exploit novel physical principles to produce force. The most notable among these concepts is the Mach effect, which posits that transient mass fluctuations within an accelerating object can generate a net force. Materials and Design Materials used in propellantless propulsion systems need to have high dielectric strength and low mass. Dr. Charles Bulala's team, for instance, employs charge carrier coatings supported on dielectric film. These materials are chosen for their ability to withstand high voltages without breaking down, which is crucial for creating the necessary electrostatic fields. Scientific Breakthroughs Recent advancements have demonstrated significant progress in the development of propellantless propulsion. In 2023, Bula's team reported achieving one full Earth gravity 1G of thrust with their latest prototypes. This achievement was the result of methodical testing and elimination of external influences that could account for the observed forces. The custom-made vacuum chambers and extensive testing protocols ensured that the measured thrust was indeed generated by the propulsion system itself. Forces and Mechanisms the underlying mechanism for these propellantless systems often involves manipulating electrostatic fields. Buller's device, for instance, uses asymmetrical capacitors and plates to create a divergent electrostatic field, which generates a net force. This force arises from an imbalance in electrostatic pressure, pushing the system in a specific direction. Equipment and experimental setup. The experimental setups for testing these propulsion systems are highly sophisticated. They include vacuum chambers to simulate the conditions of space, precise force measurement instruments, and various configurations to isolate the source of the thrust. For example, Bula's team built a custom vacuum chamber that could isolate and identify any extraneous sources of force, ensuring that their measurements were accurate. Potential applications. The potential applications of propellantless propulsion are vast. In space, such systems could enable long duration missions without the need for refueling drastically reducing the cost and complexity of space travel. On Earth, these systems could lead to new forms of quiet, efficient transportation technologies, such as propeller-less drones and aircraft. Hey, Insight viewers. Are you enjoying the content and want to stay updated with the latest videos and insights? Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notification. Every subscription helps us create more content for you and we're aiming to reach our first 1,000 subscribers. Your support means the world to us. Conclusion. Propellantless propulsion represents a groundbreaking shift in our approach to space travel and transportation. With continued research and development, the principles underlying these technologies could unlock new possibilities in exploration and mobility, both in space and on Earth. The journey from theoretical foundations to practical applications is ongoing but the potential benefits make it a highly exciting field of study. Subscribe now and be a part of the Insight community. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. Until next time, peace.